Hi, I'm John. I'm from Wild Rock Outfitters and today we're going to talk about a sleeping bag system, which includes your sleeping bags, your sleeping pad, and a pillow. We have two different bags here that I'm going to show you. One is your typical summer weight bag. Very, very comfy rectangular bag, plus two degrees Celsius or 35 Fahrenheit, and does a supreme job of keeping you comfortable in what we would say three season temperature to some degree, mostly summer though. Again, open it up, rectangular bag, you can open it up like a blanket, very cozy, great for those people that move around a lot or might just find themselves laying it over themselves in the summertime if it's pretty warm outside. A little bit of fleece on the inside as well for coziness as well as a pocket on the inside. These are a synthetic filled bag, so it's pretty compressible. And really for this temperature of bag, it actually works super, super well. Let me move on to one of our down bags. And the down bag that I have here is a little bit warmer. It's actually a minus seven degrees Celsius bag or 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's a very unique bag in as much that it uses both synthetic as well as down. And I'll show that to you in just a moment. But you can see right away that it's a mummy bag. And for those that are a little bit uncomfortable with mummy bags, this is a fairly wide mummy bag. It's fairly generous and still uses that shape to be efficient. So not to worry, even if you're not used to a mummy bag, this is actually a great bag for you. So what they've done in this case is they have synthetic fill on the top of the bag and they have synthetic fill on the bottom of the bag. And then here's the best part. On the inside, they have all these lovely down pockets and what this does is keeps the down in place. There's no shifting of down. You don't get any cold spots. And really, once you have this next to your body, it's a lot like sleeping with kittens, actually. It's pretty comfortable and uh, really cozy. You probably won't want to get out of the bag in the morning. So that is the synthetic version of a summer weight bag in a nice, comfortable rectangular bag. And something a little cooler, getting more into three season, minus seven, as I mentioned, spring, summer, fall in a down bag, so very compressible, very light, great for people who are backcountry hiking and canoeing. Let's talk a little bit about your sleeping pads. That's part of the equation, and so you wanna be comfortable with whatever you're sleeping on. You're not gonna sleep on the ground, so I'll just move these out of the way. On the bottom, we have a very, very traditional sleeping pad. This is a sleeping pad that I've sold for many, many years. Thermarest is almost like the Kleenex of sleeping pads. It really has been around for a very long time. Everybody knows it. What's unique about these, of course, is one of the first things that we talk about is that they're self-inflating. How does that work? Basically an open cell foam on the inside encased in a waterproof nylon. Once that air expands, comes in through this valve, you close the valve, boom, it's ready to go. You can sleep on that. You can add a couple of extra puffs if you want it to be a little bit firmer. This is a nice lightweight comfortable sleeping pad, and as I say, very reliable. It's been around for a very long time. A little bit more modern, we get into the air mattress style. Now, for many years, the air mattress style was something that people were not into, frankly, because air mattresses on their own are not very warm. In other words, cold air from the bottom. In other words, the floor you're sleeping on, the ground you're sleeping on, seeps through the sleeping pad and into you, and it feels really cold. What they've been able to do more recently with this design is add insulation to the inside of the air mattress. So voila, what do you have? You have an insulated air mattress plus the comfort of something that's a little bit thicker and will take away some of those uneven areas on the ground and maybe rocks or sticks or roots or what have you that you have underneath you. Maybe the only drawback to it, of course, is that it doesn't self-inflate. So yes, you have to spend a little bit of time with airtime, putting uh, your mouth to the valve itself. Uh, although there are some unique systems in terms of bags, stuff sacks that will allow you to just use those to put air inside. Our final thing, and again, there's a huge selection of these types of things, but I'll just show you this one. Your pillow, of course, you wanna have a pillow to take along with you. Whether you decide to use your stuff sack from your sleeping bag as a pillow, or something like this, or an air mattress uh, type pillow, that works super well. Here are the stuff sacks for those two sleeping bags that I showed you originally. 
And the bags themselves are designed to be fairly ample, really easy to put the sleeping bags back into the actual bags themselves. However, sometimes they're a little bigger than people want. So what we have are compression stuff sacks and compression stuff sacks are fantastic. The idea here is that you stuff your sleeping bag inside and then this lid fits over top and allows you to stuff that sleeping bag in and then you can compress it lengthwise, therefore reducing the size of it. So all of these together, again, are for backcountry camping, canoe camping or front country camping. And again, given that space is sometimes a priority, these types of bags and thermarests and sleeping pads are perfect for that type of thing. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much.